all right guys good day welcome to Tom YouTube YouTube channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you two ways to recover files that you deleted on your Windows laptop now these two methods are going to work the first method is if you deleted your files the normal way the second method is to recover your files even if you permanently deleted the files Do you know Windows allows us to delete files the normal way that in that method let me show you an example when you delete files the usual way by pressing the delete button press delete you can easily press ctrl z to undo what you have done and the file is back or you can go to recycle bin a folder for deleted files and recover it back but when you delete files permanently it's naturally impossible to recover files that you deleted permanently but there are some amazing softwares that allows you to do the whole process to recover the files that you deleted permanently on your Windows laptop. Now I'm going to show you how to recover the files permanently. The first method I've shown you already, if you delete files by pressing delete button, you can go to the folder and press ctrl z or let me delete it again. If you've pressed delete, you can go to your desktop and click on recycle bin. You find the, the file there. The file is, where is it? Yeah, you canva use it i can right click it and press restore so it's back there now so got it so it's back there now canva it's back here just by going to recycle bin and pressing restore now if for example you press con shift delete shift delete will allow you to permanently delete the file thus the file is going to completely leave your laptop it's not going to go to recycle bin folder shift delete is what i do most times you know how to delete many many bulky files let's say you use shift delete and you made a mistake by deleting the wrong file let me show you how to recover it back in no time yes i've pressed shift delete what i'm going to do is that i'm going to install a software a program called recover recover will allow you to recover any files you've deleted permanently on your laptop i'm going to show you how to engage the whole process but before we get started there are two things that you must do first of all the first thing you must do is that you must disconnect from the internet turn off your wi-fi or your network connection that's the first thing you must do because you don't want your laptop to find out that you're trying to crack the software because actually you're going to try to crack or unlock the software because it's a paid software and except to have a lot of money you have to crack it now i have turned off my internet connection the next thing i want to do is to turn off windows defender prote protection now windows defender is so powerful it can stop you from cracking softwares so i come to this this is what i get when i come to windows defender i come to this shield icon virus and threat protection virus and threat protection settings turn off real-time protection and boom you are ready to get started the next thing you want to do is to extract this folder i like using a software called 7-zip 7-zip to extract files recover so i'm going to run this rc setup recover installer really really simple just go through the process next run recover now at this point it's going to be asking me for my name and my license key to get the license key i have to use this key maker call and let me extract this using 7-zip you can extract this raw file using either 7-zip winzip power iso or any of your extraction softwares but i just seem to have a personal preference for 7-zip so i'm using 7-zip to extract this folder now let me run cr from that's the
weapons. I'm going to put the location of the video that was deleted permanently. Software. That's where what it was. Next star. Good. Now you can see the video that I deleted. Canva 500 milestone. It's here. Select the files you want to recover. Now sometimes you may have to enable deep scan if this process did not work, if you could not find the file. So I'm going to just tick the file that I want to recover, then I'll press recover. Now I'll tell them the destination folder where I want it to be. Let me bring it back to the folder where it was before. Can reduce the chance for I don't mind. Total recovered files one. So as you can see, my video is back to my laptop. Now, in cases where the video is corrupted or you couldn't see the video, you have to go through the deep scan method on recover. Let me show you to you. I'll come to rec I'll open recover. Yes. Yes. Okay. We just repeat the same process because there are times where you would not get it easily. Next, you have to enable deep scan. Do you understand? But this one will take over an hour, but I think it's worth it. So, this is how to recover files from your laptop using the recover process. I hope this really worked for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Send it as comment and I'll reply to your questions. If it didn't work for you, let me know. If it worked for you, let me know. But these are generally recover files on my Windows computer. So thank you very much for coming to watch this video. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Thank you very much. See you some other time, guys. Bye.